corner. I wanted to make a short tutorial regarding the template connecting VoiceFlow and Twilio for SMS um, assistance in general. And I wanted to walk you through the template a little bit so you get a clear understanding on how you can use this template and what are the steps that you have to take outside of the template as well. Because you have to do some connections between the template and VoiceFlow and the template in Twilio as well. So let's just run through this real quick. Uh, I'm assuming at the moment that you're watching this video, you already have a Twilio account. So you should make a Twilio account first and you should already have your assistant in VoiceFlow ready, or at least you should have created the assistant, even though the flows are not ready, but we will need the API key of the assistant. Right. So as soon as you download the template, uh, you will see that some of the parts of the template have this yellow bubble. Now I've added this yellow bubble because the yellow bubble shows that you need to edit these modules. And at the same time, I've also created some notes. So if you hit the notes options, you will see that for each of the models uh, modules that has the bubble. So the modules that you need to edit, I also created some notes saying exactly the edits that you need to make and resources where needed. For example, here you need to change the VoiceFlow API key. So I in, uh, included a link to the VoiceFlow documentation on how to get the API key as well. So be sure to go through the notes, watch this video carefully, and you should be ready to go. So as I said, we have the Twilio account ready. We have the VoiceFlow account ready, of course, and already created an assistant in VoiceFlow. Let's get started with the template. So first thing first is we need to create a webhook for the template. The way it works is that Every time you will receive uh, an SMS on your Twilio number, um, this, the text or the attachment that the SMS will be sent to this webhook. And then this webhook will basically, let's say, send it to VoiceFlow. VoiceFlow will create an answer, the assistant that you created in VoiceFlow. And then we will send that answer back to Twilio um, in order to reply to the customer. This is kind of the gist of the whole automation, just so you have that in mind. Uh, all right, so you will need to add a new webhook. You will create your own webhook. I created a demo right now. And the first thing after you create your webhook is going to be to copy the webhook. And we're going to put this in Twilio. Now, in order to make this work uh, in your Twilio account, you actually have to create a thing called a uh, messaging service. So if, let's say, you already have your Twilio account, uh, you should go under the develop tab and look for the messaging options. In order to find it, you just go here, explore products. You will probably not have these pinned up here. So we'll, you will just go to the explore products options, go to messaging, and now you will have messaging on the left-hand side, and you should go to the services tab. Give it a second to load. And here we will create a new service. So create messaging service. Uh, let's give it a name. I'll just go with demo and create messaging service. All right. Uh, at the sender pool, here is where you will add your number. Now, in this tutorial, I didn't cover exactly how you can uh, buy a phone number from Twilio. But what you have to do, of course, is to buy a phone number from Twilio and add it as a sender at this stage of the process. Uh, you will just hit add standards, uh, add senders, sorry, uh, select the relevant phone number and then added it. Uh, I'm not sure if in this account, I actually have a number that I can show you, uh, cause this is a demo account, but okay. So I don't have a number, but just search for how to buy a phone number in Twilio and there's Twilio has extensive documentation and tutorials on how to buy a number and how to add it to the senders pool in the messaging service setup. So uh, after you added the sender, the next step is actually adding the webhook. And this is the integration step. And here we will select um, send a webhook and then request URL. And we will paste the make.com URL. That's pretty much everything you have to do. Um, next step is compliance information. Now, this is only for uh, customers within the US. So if you're planning to send SMS or have interactions within the US, then you will need to go through this US A2P 10 DLC compliance, which is basically uh, the only way that you can send messages to US phone numbers. You have to go through this compliance process. It's not hard. Uh, there's plenty of documentation on it, 
But I'm not going to cover this extensively in this video tutorial because this is only regarding U.S. customers. So, um, yeah, for, these, for, for those of you guys who are from the U.S. and want to do this in the U.S., uh, you need to do this as well in order to make this work. All right. So we paste in the webhook. Uh, last step is to complete the setup. Uh, we've set up the messaging service. So now if we go to services, we will see that we have the demo service working. Perfect. So this was the first step of the template. Um, now I want to show you one quick thing. You will see that one of the steps in the template is a router. And basically what happens in this node of the automation is that we realize that some users will send not only text messages, uh, but also images, especially if you use this as a system, maybe in an environment like lead generation or stuff like this, people tend to sometimes send multimedia messages, either it being videos, files, uh, photos, and stuff like this. So what we created here in this node is that we, we separate messages between text messages and image messages or MMS messages, like any kind of multimedia kind of message and text messages. Uh, right now, the way we handle it is that we just send a text back to the customer and we just say that, hey, uh, at the moment, we don't actually process images or something like this, or please don't send us images. Uh, but this is an open end here. You could potentially go uh, more complex and handle these kind of multimedia messages and send this to uh, to voice flow, send this to open AI. Uh, I don't know. Right now, we just made this distinction so that your flow doesn't break when someone sends a picture. Uh, and we created this like send SMS back. Hey, please don't send us pictures. Just like a simple kind of fix for now. But feel free to adjust the message. Feel free to add more functionality to the template and share the template back with us. Uh, super curious what you guys, how you guys will handle multimedia messages and uh, what you want to do with that. But this is just for your information right now. If you want to keep it the way it is and just tell the user, hey, please just use text only. Don't send us images or videos or stuff like this. Uh, you can just go into this module. This module is a Twilio module and you can just change the text here. Uh, since we are at the Twilio module as well, I want to run you through how you set this up as well. Uh, basically, you will first have to create a new Twilio connection. And once you create such a connection, you will have to select messaging service. And then you will have to select the relevant messaging service uh, for that you just created right now. So in this case, it would be demo. Uh, this is right now, as I'm recording this video, I'm seeing that this is connected to a different Twilio account. So that's why I'm not seeing the messaging service that I just created. Uh, but it should be pretty straightforward. The connection is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's well documented on how you can do it. And basically you would just create the connection between make.com and Twilio. You would select messaging services. Uh, you will select the relevant messaging service you just created. Once again, that would be this one in this case, the one we just added the webhook to in uh, Twilio. And then you will just create the body of your message. Uh, so basically what you want to send back to the user. Uh, okay. Moving on, next step is actually connecting this automation to the correct voice flow project. So we created these blocks, they're pretty much predefined. The logic is predefined. The only thing you have to do in most of these blocks is to just put in the right uh, voice flow API key here. You will see that in all the blocks uh, that have this um, bubble, you will see that for the authorization, it's your voice flow API here. Uh, says your voice flow API key here. So what you're gonna do is go to your voice flow project, assuming that you already have your voice flow account and you already created your voice flow project. If not, there's plenty of resources on that out there. And you will go to the integration step on the left-hand side, and you will take from a, the API key step, you will copy your API key, go to the template, replace the whole thing with your API key. I'm not gonna put in the API key, uh, but, uh, you get the gist of it. And you have to do this for this module, which basically checks if the user already exists in your voice flow account. And based on this, it will either create a new assistant. So you have to go here, change your API key, or if the, if the user already exists, then we will just send the message. Same thing here, just go here, change the voice flow API key. Uh, and this is kind of a fallback. 
and you have to do the same thing here. Change your voice flow API key. With that in mind, the process is pretty much completed. So up until this point, you basically uh, receive every message that comes through a Twilio number. And then we look at it and see if it's multimedia message or if it's just text message. If it's multimedia message, we send the message back that we just don't accept this at the moment. Again, as I said before, up to you how you want to handle this further. If it's just a simple text message, then we send this to VoiceFlow, get a reply, and last step that you need uh, to optimize is this one. Uh, I forgot to add a bubble I see right now, but I'll just add the bubble. By the time you see the video, the template is going to be a bit more polished. Uh, and this is the same thing as before. Uh, here you have to have, you have already created your Twilio connection. So just select the right Twilio connection, select the right messaging service, uh, select, select messaging service, select the right messaging service, and then the rest, uh, you can keep it as it is. Basically it's, uh, just sending it to the number that we received the initial message from. And this is the payload that comes from VoiceFlow. So basically whatever reply VoiceFlow gave us back is just sending us as SMS to the user. This is it. Should be pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, you can contact me on Discord. And I hope this template helps you solve some of the issues. I know we had this issue a while back connecting VoiceFlow to Twilio and we wanted to make it through make.com. So maybe some of you will find this useful. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to hit me up. Have a good one.